Hello and happy Friday and welcome to our Adobe Express stream today um, on Adobe Live. If you are watching on Behance, come and join us in the chat, come say hello, um, let us know where you are watching from. And yeah, we're going to get right into it today. We are going to be designing a recipe card. Um, so we're over in Adobe Express um, and yeah, let's just jump straight in. What um, I was thinking for this is that if you had a box that you wanted to store all your cards in, then you could do that. Um, so you might, I'm going to start off my design with an A5 dimension, but you can make it whatever size you want, basically based on where you were going to store these cards. And the idea is we're going to make a template and then you can use it over and over again um, for all your different recipes. So you can make a nice little collection and we're going to have a bit of an autumnal spin on our recipe today because it's feeling very autumnal where I am. Okay, so let's start with custom size and we'll go for print. But what I'm going to do now, you'll see this has made this portrait. So I'm going to go resize and I'm going to enter the size and it's got the uh, A5 dimensions here, but I'm just going to switch it around because I want it to be landscape. So I'll just click on done there. Um, hi, Oliver and Tim in the chat. Let us know what your favorite autumnal recipes are if you are joining me. Now, I should have said we're starting from scratch today because there actually aren't that many recipe card templates on Adobe Express. So we're going to be making our own. Um, so yeah, exciting times. <laughs> Tim's favorite recipe is the recipe for disaster. Hi, Steve. Um, okay. So first up, what I'm going to do is think about my color palette. So if I head over into the top right and choose colors, you'll see there's sort of like a current color palette, which is my default up here, but I'm going to type in autumnal and see what it comes up for me. And we'll, we'll try and find a nice autumnal color palette to use. Hmm. Let me know if you see one that grabs your attention. I actually quite like the one at the top. I like that it's got a purple in it, which is quite nice. But I think we need a bit of orange in there as well. I might start off with this one and then um, play around with the colors. So now when I go back over onto my canvas, I don't want it to be this dark. Uh, but you'll see now that color palette is in my current palette. So I might start off with this sort of purple. Ooh, third one from the top is also nice. Let's go back and have a look. Third one. Yeah, that's nice. That's got nice bright colors as well. Yeah, let's go on that one. I really like that green. Okay, so we've got our color palette and you can actually do this shuffle button, which is actually quite cool. So then if you've got the wrong um, background or the background that you don't want, you can just sort of shuffle through the colors. But what I'm going to do is maybe adjust this manually. So I'm actually going to go for sort of like a cream in the background because I don't want it to be too dark. And then I'm going to start to bring in these colors from the color palette. So Steve says, if we wanted to use an iPad in the kitchen to have recipe cards displayed on screen, is there any sort of template for storing the cards for display? Oh, that's a really good question or an app. Um, probably what I would do is um, save them as a PDF and then just have them all collated in a PDF that I can just scroll through. But I, yeah, I don't know, Steve, but that is such a good idea. Um, having them on display on an iPad in the kitchen. Love that. I might actually try and do that. I'll let you know if I find anything out, Steve, that's good for doing that. Um, okay, so we're going to be making a recipe card for some ginger biscuits. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is get a shape for my image. Um, so you'll see that it sort of default used one of the colors in my color palette. I actually... I'm going to go back to the colors because I want to find this green. Let's see if that'll bring it. 
Mm, not quite. Anyway, let's have a look. It might be now saved in my colors. So let me just put that back to the cream. Ah, oh, nice. Yes, so that is the green that I want. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to put this up in the corner. And then this is where the image for my recipe is going to go. Now, for now, I am going to get an Adobe stock image. Um, of some biscuits but if you were like really into baking really into cooking then you, once you'd made um, your recipe you could take your own photo and you could upload that into here but for now I'm just gonna look for ginger biscuits I managed to spell that right which is good and we can just have a little scroll through and see if we think one of the images will work in terms of the sort of thing that we're planning to make. I think it's always, you don't have to have an image on there, but I think it's sort of quite nice. Um, I am the sort of person that when I look at recipe books, I like to be able to see what it is, like how what I'm making is supposed to turn out. <laughs> so let's go with this one. So what I'm gonna do, so I've got my image here and then I'm gonna go over to the right here and click on crop and shape. And I want it to have the sort of rounded image, uh, rounded corners of this shape. So I'm just going to click on that. And you can then just move the image around to get it in the frame, however you want to position it. So I'll just make sure that there's a bit of this um, drink and the cinnamon coming in. And yeah you can zoom in here and you can also rotate the image as well so you can get it exactly how you want it um and then just click the tick button and now I've got my image and I think I'm going to sort of have it at a jaunty angle on top of this uh this nice green shape here okay if you are joining us in the chat on Behance then come and let me know what your favorite autumnal sort of recipes are what are you making at this time of year um or maybe where you live in the world it isn't autumn that's another possibility <laughs> okay so let's start getting the text in so I'm gonna add some text and I'm gonna call it autumnal ginger biscuits didn't do too bad with my spelling there um so that is going to go up here. Need to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to play around with the line spacing. I just want them to be a little bit closer together. So you can adjust that in here. You can also adjust the letter spacing, but I don't, I don't want to um, change that for this. And then I'm going to make the text the same color as the shape so i'm gonna go for that nice green up here um let's have a little think about what typeface we might want to use so again if anyone sees anything they like then just shout i do quite like the sort of chunky sans serif or maybe some play fair display that's quite nice <laughs> when it comes to recipes tim always bakes bake it till you make it <laughs> excellent okay so i want to find let's look at lines and arrows i want to find some sort of like underline to go under this heading um so let's see, maybe something like this could work. And actually, I think what I might do is make this the green, but then change the text to a different color. So maybe, maybe even this bright red, or maybe that's looking a bit Christmassy. Maybe I'll go for an orange, but make it a bit darker something like that <laughs> steve uses a smoke detector for a timer nice 
I don't get the impression that we've got big bakers in the chat today. <laughs> right, let me just move this up to the top. So I'm just rearranging the layers here so that the text goes over the shape. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just create some titles. So we're going to have our ingredients um, and then our method down here. So I'm going to change that to what you need or you could... Oh, what you need, what you need. You could, um, you can make it ingredients though. You can put whatever title you, however, whatever makes most sense for you. So we'll put that there for now. And then I, it's so handy that these lines come up just to help you line everything up nice and neatly, which is great. And then I'm just going to copy and paste that again. So I just did command C, command V, and I'm going to put my method here. Okay, so we'll just make sure that that's lined up and that there's a bit of space. I'm going to sort of, I'm kind of like by eye dividing this up. So two thirds, they're going to be the method and then one third for the ingredients. So we'll have a look and see how it's looking. Um, but hopefully it'll be okay. Okay, so I'm just going to minimize my screen. I've got some um, a recipe over here on my desktop, which I'm going to copy and paste in. So I'm just going to add some more um, text. So um, Rajesh just joined and said, what software is this? This is Adobe Express and you can use it in your browser. Um, there's also an app that you can use, which is really handy. Um, and we are just designing a recipe card. Um, we're going to make it into a template so that we can use it for all of our re recipes. Okay, now obviously that text is very overwhelming. So we're just going to make it um, much smaller. And I'm going to put it in a sans serif, I think. Um, And let me see, what's everyone's favorite sans serif at the moment? Let's go with Noto Sans for now. Um, and again, I'm just gonna play around with the spacing. I'm just gonna make the line spacing bigger so that there's a bit of a gap between all the ingredients and it's sort of easier to read. We might change the size in a minute, just depending on how things are sort of balancing out with the method. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste that. And we're going to start putting our steps into the method section. Um, so I'll just copy step one and put that in here. Now I don't want the line spacing to be as big on this one. So I'm just gonna decrease that down. Um, and I might even make, we might have to make um, the font a little bit smaller. We'll see how we get on. So that's step one. I'm just gonna copy and paste that again and we'll put in step two here. Hi, Sean, nice to have you here. We're just making a recipe card. Steve says, all my recipes start with the words Cajun style. <laughs> so if I burn it, hey, it's Cajun style. I like it. That's a good, good way to manage things. Um, okay, hang on. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to copy. Okay, let me get step two in again because I just deleted it by accident. Okay, and now I'm just gonna copy and paste this text box ready for step three. I'm going to, I'm doing them in separate text boxes just so that I can easily edit each individual step if I need to. Okay, so we've got all our text in, but at the moment it's not all fitting in. So we're just gonna have a little play around with our um, layout. Ah, Sean's working on the Adobe Live Challenge. That's cool. What is the challenge, Sean? Um, oh, on the German Adobe Live Challenge. 
Jacqueline says, I make muffins occasionally. My favorites are zucchini and orange cranberry. Amazing. So if you are in the UK, I think that's courgette and orange cranberry. That sounds amazing. I'm going to go and look for a recipe for that after this. I really like muffins. That's a good, that's a good autumnal option. So I'm just going to play a little bit with the layout here just so that I can get a bit more space. We might have to make um, our text a little bit smaller but I think we'll be able to fit it in. So let's get that up here. Now you'll notice that the spacing in my different sections aren't consistent. So I'm just going to double check what my spacing's on on this one. So it's 11. So I'm just gonna go into these and make sure, oh, it says it's the same. Make sure it's the same. It doesn't look the same. Let's, that looks a bit better. Okay, so we need to get all these fitting in. I'm gonna take it down a little bit in size. Let's make it 10. Not sure if that made any change. We can also move things up a bit, which will help. So the challenge, the German Adobe Live challenge is being creative. And what do you have to make, Sean, as part of the challenge? Like, what do you have to do? I mean, I could just go and check. I'll go and check this out afterwards. <laughs> but since you're here, I might as well ask you. Right. Let me just move this out of the way. And we'll just get our text sorted because at the moment it's not quite working right here we go made it a bit smaller and then we can just extend these out a bit nice Okay, so we've got all of our text in. I might just add a little dash in here so that you can see. Oh, it's jumping around. Oh, you have to make and, de and design a design illustration photo of how you interpret being creative. Winners will receive a notebook. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Right, next up. So we've got everything in. We've got the text. I think I'm going to change um, the these headings to be a little bit darker. So I'm hoping, yeah, maybe a nice dark red color. Um, and actually, I think I'm going to change this to that dark red as well. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is go to shapes and we're going to add some leaves. I feel like leaves are always a good sort of symbol of autumn. <laughs> So let's find some leaves that we can add. That's a nice one. And then let's have a look, let's see what other ones we've got. There's a whole bunch of leaves in here. Oh, these are fun. These would be great as like little corner elements in a design. I'm not gonna use them on this one, but I'm now gonna try and think of something that I can use them in because they look good. Um, I want sort of individual leaves. So let's see, oh, that's quite nice. Let's get a whole bunch of them. And then these ones almost look like coffee beans though. Let's, yeah, get a bunch and then we can decide which ones keep I'm gonna go back up to the top and see what I can find oh 
oh, I know what I need to do. I need to put in leaf, not leaves. And then I'll get individual leaves. Ah, there we go. It's all about what you search for. Nice. Okay, let's see. I'm going to delete these ones and I'm going to find and use some of these individual leaves. So that one, this one's nice. And just a few more. Oh, that's very autumnal, isn't it? And let's find two more. Nice. Oh, I like these. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we've got a nice little combination and I'm just going to start rearranging them around my recipe. Just to add a little bit of, um, yeah, like a little, some illustrative elements to make it a bit more interesting. change the color on this one I'm going to go back to the colors actually because I want to find another I might do this um oh oh that is not what I meant to do all of my colors wow okay that is hurting my eyes <laughs> okay let's forget that I'm just going to go back in and change the colors back because that was oh no I can just undo what was I thinking phew okay there we go that was overwhelming on the eyes. I'm just going to find a nice lilac by eye because that was not, that's what I want. There we go. Nice. I think that works well with the green and the orange. And let's put a few more in. And then what we're going to do is save it as a template and then you'll be able to keep that and use it whenever you want. Um, so you can just have sort of a set template that you use for all your recipes, which is a good option, I think. So let's just, I just want to sprinkle a few more leaves around. just play around with some other colors I think this is getting there let's put one of these down here I'm going to get another one of these put over here as well. Okay. So now that we've sort of got the design how we want it. Oh, hi, Annika. Nice to see you. We're just designing a recipe card um, for autumn. So autumnal ginger biscuits is what we've got going on here. And okay, so we've got our sort of leaves scattered around. I mean, I could spend ages moving these leaves around. <laughs> so we'll just sort of leave that for now and then what we're going to do is head up to the top right and you will see let me just make my screen um full size again and you'll see the share button up here and then you click on make a template so it's going to come up with a message about adobe stock and if that is all in order then you can click got it and then we're gonna call this template recipe card and then you can choose where you save it. So I've got an Adobe Live uh, library. I'm saving it to a library. Um, you can write some notes about the template. So if you are making this template to send to friends or for colleagues or whoever for them to use, you can put some notes in there to give them um, yeah, advice on how to use the template. And then you just click Save Template. And then that means that when you go into your libraries, um, all those templates will be there save for you to use. So it'll save you time. And it also it means that you can get like a uniform look for how all of these things, yeah, go together. So 
what my plan would be would be to have a box that I keep all of my recipe cards in or maybe a folder um and then I would get them printed out and I would just make sure that they all have a consistent look yeah you're right Rajesh says I love the design but that green line below the word ginger is a little distracting I think you're right I think if it was if it's really gonna work I'd need to make it a much uh, lighter color. So that is really helpful feedback. So yeah, I will adjust that later. Thanks for the um, your input. So yeah, there we go. Making a recipe card in Adobe Express and saving as a template. So I hope you found that helpful and um, yeah, we'll see you next week for another stream. And if you stick around, um, up next is Paul Trani with an Illustrator Pro Hour. Um, and later on today, there's more Adobe Express streams and um, yeah, lots of cool stuff going on. So stick around and check it out. Thanks for joining me in the chat and I will see you all next Friday.